What's up everyone, Sebastian with Press Start Seb. Final Fantasy XV is out, it's amazing, and now we're looking on towards the horizon for the DLC. Now I want to break down what exactly I think is going to be in the character episodes for Gladio, Ignis, and Prompto. It seems super obvious in the story, but I want to make a video about it to let you guys know. So as I said, Final Fantasy XV is out, and I'm going to be doing kind of a prediction, but not really a prediction because it's super obvious what the DLC will entail in terms of setting and placement in the overall story. And I want to let you guys comment in the comment section below what you think it is, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, and which of the episodes are you most excited about. I was more, more stoked for the uh, Gladio sections because he's my favorite character other than Noctis, but I think the Prompto one is the one I'm going to be more excited about because it might flesh out some of his... Uh, backstory a bit more. Spoiler alert um, with everything with him being from Niflheim and etc etc. So it's gonna be a quick video. Um, each of the characters throughout the story leave the party at particular moments and come back substantially different than they were when they left. This can be a physical attribution such as uh, Gladio having a huge scar across his forehead in addition to the one down his face or Ignis uh, coming back and being blind since you can't see and essentially prompted coming back and you see him he's all caged up and he's been imprisoned by the Niflheim army. Each character is going to have their own DLC and it's going to uncover their own specific story about that part and it seems very obvious that each story of, for each character is going to be involving the time that they were no longer with Noct. Now they've already confirmed that a previous boss from Final Fantasy history is going to be coming back for the Gladio DLC, in which there's an obvious explanation for how he got that big scar. You conclude the DLC with a huge boss battle, and then Gladio works his way back to Noctis. During the Battle of Leviathan, uh, you don't see what Ignis is doing, but he comes back with no vision, and he's got some scarring around his eyes. So I imagine his DLC is going to involve what he was doing during that big battle, and it's going to be really cool because you're going to see um, that huge Leviathan battle with Noctis from a different perspective. Um, from what the ground was like, the, the evacuation of the citizens, and what was going on with the invasion of the army. And finally, after Noctis confusedly pushes Prompto from the train, he lands in Niflheim land, and the story will progress from there, kind of explaining how, how it happened as soon as he lands, going on towards when Noctis and company um, retrieve him. I think this is a very, very good idea because it puts context to the story and puts context to the characters. It lets you know what they're doing when other big things are happening in the story and kind of provides more complexity and layers to the story. A lot of people have been complaining that the story of Final Fantasy XV is kind of shallow and this, these DLCs will kind of provide much needed context, much needed depth um, in regard to some of those things. Especially with the backstory of Prompto, that's a huge one. It's, 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 it seems like a huge turning point in the game that gets like, completely brushed to the side. I'm hoping it's brushed to the side because they're going to be doing a lot of building upon that in his DLC. His is the last one to release. Uh, Ignis is the second last and Gladio is the first one coming hopefully in a couple months. I want to know if you guys agree with my predictions. Do you think it's as obvious as I do that these are going to be the DLC positions? when they release, what they're going to be about, and are you as stoked? Which one is your favorite? I'm still, I'm conflicted. If it's going to be Gladio, is it going to be Prompto? I'm not sure. Uh, Gladio's just so fucking huge and jacked, I can use a big sword. That's kind of cool. I'm not a huge fan of the gunplay, so using just Prompto's guns might be a little um, disconcerting, unless they add some really cool mechanics. Again, I'm just super excited to see what they do with this game. I fucking love it, love it, love it. I've been playing it nonstop, and any reason for me to kind of go in and embody these characters more than I have is exciting. Am I gonna like any of these guys more than Noctis? Probably not. Noctis is my fucking boy! So yeah, let me know down below if you agree, if you disagree, whatever, what have you, if you want to just kind of comment on if you think it's obvious. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm gonna be starting some Let's Plays and stuff coming soon in the future, so always more content, more content, more content. Thanks a lot. Take care.